each one of these functions is even. They all have the same thing in common. If you notice at the y-axis, if I were to fold the graph over that vertical line, I'd get a mirror image on both sides. All even functions have this vertical symmetry about the y-axis. So if I want to test graphically to see if a function is even, I can go to my graphing calculator in y equals and enter the function. 4x to the fourth power plus 3x squared minus 7. I'm going to look at that in the graph and I notice right away that along this y-axis I have vertical symmetry which makes this an even function. So even functions have symmetry about the y-axis. Another characteristic of even functions is that their equations have all even exponents. So without graphing it, I can take a look at the equation and see that 4, the power on the first x, is even, 2, the power on the second x, is even, and when I take a look at this constant at the end, this minus 7, that's actually minus 7 times x to the 0 power because anything to the 0 power equals 1. Negative 7 times 1 is negative 7. So this x to the 0 power, this is also even. Since the equation has all even exponents on the variable, I know that it is an even function. So it is a characteristic of even functions to have y-axis or vertical symmetry, to have all even exponents, and also if you choose a point on the curve a comma b, then the point negative a comma b must also be on that curve. So if I want to use this characteristic to test this function, I'm going to need to first choose a point a comma b. So for example, if I use 1 as my x, I'm going to put 1 in for f of x. That means f of 1, everywhere I have an x, I put a 1. 4 times 1 to the 4th power is 4. 3 times 1 squared is 3. 4 plus 3 is 7, minus 7 equals 0. So the point 1 comma 0 is on the line. Now if this is an even function, then I know that I, if I change the a from 1 to a negative 1, and I leave the b the same, at this point must also be on the line. So everywhere I have an x, I'm going to put in a negative 1. Four times negative 1 to the fourth power. If I raise a negative to an even exponent, I get a positive. So this would be four times positive 1, or 4. In the same way here, if I take negative 1 and square it, a negative and a negative gives me a positive. So this is a positive 1, and 3 times positive 1 is 3. 4 plus 3 is 7, minus 7 gives me back 0, which is what I expected. So this is an even function, since the point 1, 0 and negative 1, 0 are both on the curve. So even functions have y-axis symmetry. They have all even exponents on the variables. If a comma b is on the line, 
then the point negative a comma b is also on the line. And finally, if I substitute in a negative x into the function and simplify, I should get back exactly what I started with, f of x. So we're going to test our function f of x equals 4x to the fourth plus 3x squared minus 7 to see if it's an even function using this characteristic. So I'm going to find f of negative x and see if it matches. So everywhere I have x in the function, I'm going to substitute negative x in parentheses. And then I'll simplify. Negative x raised to an even power is always a positive, so I end up with a positive 4x to the fourth. And similarly, on this side, negative x squared, that's negative times a negative, is a positive, so I have a positive 3x squared. And then the negative 7, and I notice right away that 4x to the fourth plus 3x squared minus 7 is exactly what I started with. So f of x is equal to f of negative x, and this is an even function.